Good day. The purpose of this video is for a child to be able to explain what fractions are and how they compare. Specifically, in this case, a half, a third, and a quarter. How they differ, how they compare, and how they look in relation to each other without doing any writing. So it's about explaining in words and understanding how, what it means. It is mainly for grade 2, 3, and 4 learners. But according to me, everybody up to grade 8 should be do the, doing this. Please type in on YouTube, fractions, what is half? And you'll get a more thorough explanation of what I'm going to do now. Firstly, what is a half? A half is if you take a slice of bread, you cut it into two equal parts. One of those parts is a half. The other part is also a half. The next question is, what is a third? Or what is two-thirds? Firstly, you take a slice of bread, you cut it into three equal pieces. One piece is a third, another piece is a third, another piece is a third, and two of these pieces makes two-thirds. Please also type in on YouTube, fractions, what is three-quarters? And another video, fractions, what is two-thirds? And there's a more thorough explanation. Yet again, what is a quarter? Is I take a slice of bread, I cut it into four equal parts. One is a quarter, one piece is a quarter, one piece is a quarter, and one piece is a quarter, and three of these pieces makes three quarters. Please go to the trouble of watching these three videos. Fractions, what is a half? Fractions, what is two thirds? And fractions, what is three quarters? It explains short videos explaining what each one of those three things mean using a slice of bread. When comparing fractions, you can always look at the fraction wall, but that's very... You don't have a fraction wall in your hands all the time, so that's why I like people to use slices of bread. But, just looking at this fraction wall, if this is one rectangle over here, here it is divided into two equal pieces, means that two halves fit into a hole. Also take this rectangle and cut it into three equal pieces. These pieces are smaller than the halves, and then you can also take this rectangle and cut it into four equal pieces, which will give you four quarters down here. I think it's better if a child can take a slice of bread and do it himself and see what he's doing. Otherwise, you can also go to this fraction wall and understand what the next part of the video is about. So what we did is we took four of the same size slices of bread, kept the first one whole, cut the other one into two equal parts, which was halves, Take the other slice, cut it into three equal parts, that was thirds, and cut the other one into four equal parts, that was quarters. Now we're going to compare them without doing any maths. The first statement is, a half is greater than a third. So the half over here is bigger than the third over here. So the half, maybe on this side, is bigger than the third over here, comparing them. Since grade one, a child was taught what is greater, what is less, what is more than, we are just doing it with fractions now. The next one says, a half is less than one. So this half here is definitely less than the whole one. The next statement is, a half is more than a quarter. This half here is definitely more than the quarter over there. The next one says, a half is equal to two quarters. So the half of a slice of bread is the same as these two quarters of a slice of bread. The next one says, a half is smaller than two thirds. The half over here is less than these two thirds together. The last one says a half is smaller than three quarters. But that half there is definitely going to be smaller than three quarters because three quarters is a half and another quarter. But that a child needs to explain to you, not learn it by heart. I know it's easier for grown-ups to look at this fraction wall and then compare it. But it is better to have something in your hand, in front of you, pieces of bread, and compare them and then totally understand what you are writing, not just do maths. I'm going to keep the fraction wall on the side here for the main reason some people just don't want to go and cut the bread. I believe in the bread, so I'll be talking through the slices of bread. Next one says here, a third is smaller than one. I know it's easy to see it here, a third is smaller than the one over there, but that's not good enough for me. A third over here is smaller than the whole slice of bread. A third is bigger than a quarter. So there's my third, and there's my quarter. It's definitely bigger than the quarter of one slice of bread. 
The next one says, a third is smaller than a half. There's my third. Yes, he is smaller than the half. The next one says, a third is smaller than two quarters. So the third over here is smaller than the two quarters. In your discussion, you can then say that the two quarters is a half again. But that's in the discussion you have. The last one on third says, a th one third is less than three quarters. So this one third here is less than those three pieces over there. Now we will look at one quarter. It says here one quarter is less than one. That means this quarter over here is definitely less than one. It's one quarter of one. One quarter is smaller than a third. This quarter over here is smaller than this third over here. The next statement says a quarter is smaller than a half. Yes, the quarter is smaller than a half because two quarters fit into a half. One quarter is smaller than two quarters. It must be because there is one quarter and another quarter in here. Therefore, one quarter is less than three quarters too, because in here is one quarter, another one, and another one. There's three quarters inside three quarters. The last statement says, a quarter is smaller than two thirds. There's my quarter. There's my two thirds. Yes, that guy is smaller than those two. Now let's compare two quarters to his friends. Now two quarters is equal to a half. So there's my two quarters. Yes, they're equal to a half. Two quarters is smaller than three quarters. Yes, the two quarters is smaller than the three quarters together. The next one says two quarters is less than two thirds. The two quarters over here is less than the two thirds over there. The next statement is two quarters is smaller than one. So the two quarters we have over here is smaller than the whole one over there. Two quarters is bigger than a third. The two quarters is bigger than a third. We already said that two quarters is a half, so you can start comparing everything now. The last statement says two quarters is less than two halves. Yes, the two quarters over here is less than the two halves, which is a whole. Please stop the video and read through these statements and make them part of your own brain. Later on, it will help you to do much more complicated fractions. Please also make up your own statements comparing these fractions. It becomes a nice game. Now we look at two-thirds and his friends. Two-thirds is smaller than one. There's my two-thirds, there's my one. Two-thirds is greater than one-third. Two-thirds is greater than two-quarters. There's my two-thirds, there's my two-quarters. Yes, the statement is true. Two-thirds is less than two-halves. Two-thirds over here is less than two-halves. Also get used to the words and the writing as we go. The last one says, two-thirds is less than three-quarters. Two-thirds here is less than the three-quarters over there. Now let's compare one of each of these fractions. I wrote it from small to big. One quarter is the smallest, then a third is bigger, a half is bigger than a third, and then one whole, we can write it like this or like this, is then the biggest. So I wrote this from smallest to biggest. Even on the wall you can see a quarter is the smallest, then a third, then a half, then one. But I like to do it with the bread. Again I wrote them from smallest to the biggest. Here I have two quarters, I circled it in red here, is the smallest, two thirds is more, two halves is more again, and then two holes is definitely the most. The last one, we're going to compare three of these pieces. Three quarters is the smallest according to me, they have got three quarters, then three thirds is bigger than that, three halves is then one slice plus another half of another slice, and then three holes will give me three of these slices. The smallest one is three quarters, then three thirds bigger, three halves even more, and three holes even more. If you really understood the whole video up to now, let's see how creative you really are. The statement is, a statement you can make yourself later, and lots of other statements, a half of a half is a quarter. You could cut the halves through like that, but I'm going to cut it down this way. And we said a half of a half is a quarter, you can see that. Half of this half is the same as that quarter over there. 
The next statement says one and a half thirds makes a half. Yes, I can see it. If I take one third over here and I cut that third in half, it's going to give the same size as that half that I had over there. And don't be upset if a creative child does this. And he still says, but that's still half of this whole slice of bread. Now just moving outside the framework of these three fractions, let's see how creative you are. A half of a third is a sixth. So if I take a third and I cut it in half and a half and a half, I'll get six equal pieces. A half of a third is a sixth. And the last one for today, a third of a half is a sixth. So I take my half, cut it into three equal pieces. One of those pieces will be a six because there is six equal pieces coming out of that hole. Please indicate whether you liked or disliked this video. You can also subscribe to the channel and send a message or a WhatsApp to this number up here. If there is anything that your child or you are unsure about in fractions, we will then look at it and make a video for free and post it on the channel that other people can benefit from your question.